Most birds migrate south for the winter, but not this stuffed seagull. It went north to Searsport to the Penobscot Marine Museum. The 150-year-old stuffed bird has been at the center of controversy since the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was notified back in October the bird was being illegally displayed at Cappy's Chowder House in Camden. At first, owner Joanna Tatone thought it was a joke, but soon realized she was in violation of a 1918 federal law prohibiting the illegal killing or harming of birds and their commercialization. Tatone was told the display would be confiscated unless she could find a suitable home for it. She was able to do that with help from Senator Olympia Snow. The bird will make the museum in Searsport its winter home. If you look at this building, it was built in the 1830s. It's, it's where it belongs. It's, it fits in with everything here. Tatone bought the display at an auction more than 20 years ago. It's a black back gull. And some of the early collections and collectors in Maine were acquiring that very type of thing from their voyages around the globe and on, on ships going to every corner of the globe. And so they brought many of those things back here to Searsport. The gull will be happy here. The museum depicts the way coastal life would have been back in the 19th century. So we can use it for education programs and um, help people you know, come to Searsport, come to the museum when it's here, and, um, and let them learn about the history of acquiring artifacts, animal specimens like this that was quite popular in the 19th century, you know, why people did that and, and what it means today. And the gull will return to Cappy's for the summer months, thanks to an agreement that will allow the bird to be loaned out by the museum. Kelly Pearson, WABI, TV5 News, Searsport.